Hello guys, Jeff the maintenance man again. A year ago I went into this uh, electrical room. Now I've been in it since and I know, but y'all don't know. So, a year ago I made cables, do's and don'ts video. If you don't know which that one was at the end of the video, um, you can go watch that one. But I'm going to put this as cables, do's and don'ts, like part two or something. But this is a year later, and this is what this cable room looks like now. Yep. That's what I thought. Anyway. <clears throat> the lighting's not too great in here, guys. Um, um, now there's amps hanging. There's just, you know, amps, like, hanging. I don't know how many of these they think they're going to be able to hook up with just two outlets and maybe I'll put a power strip on the thing and let that hang too. Um, you know, whatever. Just, it, it's super clustered right now. And as far as I've understood from a Comcast technician who came out here that does the thing, he took it took them three days to rewire what their subcontractors have screwed up so there's uh these little orange tags that say ingress on the line and all this all over the property there's this person that comes out who actually does have a map of all the nodes or the ped boxes as y'all call them um they actually can tell that there's ingress on that node like and what I mean by node, in my last video, this is locked, so I can't open it for you, but I might do a video of one that's unlocked and show you, but it's basically um, a bunch of these in a, in a different way. It's it's configured a different way, but, um, and yes, let's just go ahead and clarify this. Outside there in the box, it is grounded. I said that in my last video. And people are like, well, you think the, the lightning is going to strike the, the splitters and this in the amps and inside? No, maybe not. What's it plugged into, dog? Anyway, um, strike the power line. Where's that going to go? Wham. Anyway, but if it was grounded, proper grounding terminal here which this is the grounding terminal then it probably wouldn't make it back to the customer's television and fry it it would go down this wire and into the ground because electricity is going to find the shortest path least resistance and this is that they didn't do a fabulous job of that but they did it what I'm saying is if if you're going to take the wires off of here and you're going to put in an amp let's just take this off just take this old splitter diplex or splitter whatever the hell you want to call it off and mount it to here so it's grounded that's all i'm saying we don't have the best uh best thing in the world here i mean this this wire is rg6 even though i said it was rg59 which is it, it might as well be because the shielding on this wire just is awful. God, I, it is like the worst. It, it literally has four strands of that aluminum stuff in it. It's not double shielded. It's not triple shielded. It's just regular, the cheapest RG6 you can get right here. And that goes into the customer's, customer's apartment. Now you might be saying... Oh, well, you, that's all you need is that and this, that. This was put in in 1986. When it goes to the customer's apartment, you have to realize how big this community is. It's three floors. There's 68 apartments, and I'm in the middle of it right now. There's 30-something uh, going that way, 30-something going that way. 30 something going that way 30 something going that way each apartment has about 
Somebody should call maintenance to oil the door. Anyway, what I was trying to say in my other video was that this used to be... I already said this in my other video. I don't understand what... Why is 304 over here when 304 was way the heck over here? Because it started with 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108. I'm going to be doing another video, so stay tuned, about when they built a whole new building. They came in and they had wire like this, and it was just dropped down and nothing was hooked up. It was more like this. It was just the leads coming in, and they didn't have anything hooked up. We started moving people in. They wanted their TV. They wanted their cable. We have a bulk, uh, a bulk account with... Uh, Comcast and they wanted their TVs hooked up because they're paying for the rent and included in the rent is cable so Comcast kind of threw the dollar at us and just sent us a box of these little they they kind of look like these and you, you'll see if when I make the video you'll see that there are two of these in that electrical room as well but then they they threw a box of of eight of these things that kind of look like this but they go on the wall like like this and um turn down my radio and they are in line with each other and everything is labeled everything is labeled and it's really neat tidy and everything and it just you know i understand uh when you see this video You'll be like, well, yeah, now you got to use a 7 16th inch wrench or whatever, or, you know, but that's fine. But all I'm saying is, it, it's just going to get worse every day. I mean, you have enunciators now, you know, hanging. You got, again, you got just drops going directly into uh, the thing, which is, which is okay. I, I said that in my other video. I, I I don't really care. I'm just a maintenance guy. I shouldn't even be caring about this. I said nice job on the grounding because even though it's disconnected from the job, this kind of a joke, but uh, even though it wasn't connected to that back board over here, they, they took the effort to ground it. And some of these, if you don't ground them, if you really do work for Comcast, you know what happens. I'm not even going to say what happens, because I've had it happen. Yeah. Especially when they're coming out of something like that. Um, Y'all can put... I'm going I'm to actually leave that in the comment section below. What happens when you... Sometimes when you have a heavy signal coming through the drop lead. I have it at my house, so I know what happens. What happens when you disconnect the wire... The drop wire and you're still hanging on to it what happens put in the comment sections below I actually want to hear from you guys I, I, I actually have fun with that uh, even if it's a troll comment I don't care but I use Comscope it looks like that's their brand this guy went through the effort of putting a terminator on it cool uh, this is for DVR uh, actually no it's not that is it, just a ground block. But there's a Nancy. Here we go. You see one. Filtered is required for multi room DVR. Do not remove. So they got these little enunciators now. Which you can see how I thought that was. What the? F Damn. Okay. Um. That's. Dude, that is weird. I'm getting voltage through that. What the hell? Just a little bit, just a tingle in 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 the hands, but um. So I guess got a strong signal coming in here or something, huh? Yeah, that's <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That is crazy as hell, huh? Anyway probably why you want to ground this shit anyway 
I know I'm fixated with grounding. Ground this, ground that. Look, I took a ground wire. Another ground wire. <laughs> what? That guy actually took the ground wire. Now, he took the ground wire off of this panel. See, this is all metal. So, this guy now has taken the ground wire off of the panel. And now, nothing is grounded. Per se. Again, I will go through. See? I will go through and I will explain to you. It is grounded outside in the ped box. That box has a grounding rod inside of it. Eight feet down. And it is grounded. But when you don't ground it from there and you ground it from here, you get that... You get, for some reason, I'm getting freaking shocked to hell on that. I don't know why. When I touch those two together, I probably just screwed up residence equipment doing that. Why? Well, you should put it on the back. I mean, everybody's damn unhooked anyway. Look at this. People that are still hooked into these right here are running DTA boxes. They're not running internet or anything. This is probably... Running internet, phone, and TV. But again, yeah, that diplexer is still hanging here, by the way. Whoever commented on that in my last video, thank you for telling me it's a diplexer when I could have probably just looked at it and said diplexer. Or that's probably what you did too. These little doodads right here, they don't even use them anymore. They don't even use them anymore. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We're gonna bomb North Korea and you'll see. It'll be it'll be absolutely yeah. Great. Anyway. Enough with the Trump shit. Anyway, um So a year later now you got this wire standing all the way out here instead of being tucked down and looped around or looped up there and tucked around or whatever. I mean, they they just seriously just grab one of these wires and start pulling on a loop till it gets tighter until they can get a strip point. And I mean, it's the old crap that used to come into the building. I have no idea what why there's so much loop on that. I here's a I don't even know what the hell that is. It's a four conductor that's going up into I don't I don't know. Not my job to know, but I know this just makes it harder for the next tech, guys. It really does. It really does. I mean, hell, you you put two, two or three apartments on this this amp. I mean, <sighs> I just don't get it. So. But the biggest thing that changed, the biggest thing is the amps, and now they have the ground wire that originally went to it. He cut the zip ties and and all that. I can't even get to the thermostat over here, which controls our that thing. I don't know if y'all heard that, but this controls a heating fan, and now I have to like fucking move that shit out of the way and be like oh what, what what temperature is it supposed to it exhausts heat heat out of this uh out of this room and stuff thank god they didn't put this in front of the transfer switch because i'm going to show you something sometimes i have to open this damn thing if there was a crap load of cable behind me i would have to be all up in it like this and i i don't feel comfortable with a three phase 208 all up in my face sorry it's not 460, so I don't feel too bad about it. But, <laughs> well, 208 uh, does have a wild leg to let you know. That means one of those legs is pulling 208 bolts. So, one of, one of these legs, and maybe you electronic people or electrician people can tell me, I don't mess with this much. I just do the test and that's it. 
but one of these legs on here is a wild leg which one is it i would go with oh it's the red one you know but you never know you can't take color for crap around here so but yeah 208 three phase there is a wild leg and it'll get you um jeff the maintenance man this is just the cable room a year later the same stuff's hooked up there's just new stuff added and new stuff screwed up and uh i mean this uh, most of this is not that bad it's just uh, that's why these splitters have this and this and then have a grounding terminal you don't have to ground every splitter i understand that but when you put the splitter to the wall here it will ground all the splitters better safe than sorry it's a three-story building lightning's bound to strike anything we have cables running up on the roof too you don't know does not have to strike that pet box what if it strikes in between the pet box and here you don't know yeah it's going in there out there to the pet box what if it strikes and what if it strikes the pet box it's gonna go in here you know? I'm just saying there's a plastic coating around the pet box yeah lightning cares jet the maintenance man cable room a year later this is what it looks like